Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is William East and I'm one half of the performance tennis training staff. Today, we're going to go over one of my favourite teaching techniques I have here. I developed this a while ago, and this is when I first started coaching at about 16, 17 years old back in England, which is in the, you can see actually in the image of the, uh, the thumbnail, is telling the time. And you think, what do you mean by telling the time? How can you tell the time and improve your spin on your ground stretch, especially the forehand? Backhand, not so much, definitely on the forehand characteristics. So what I'm going to show you is how this motion, that there, of me telling the time on my forehand generates more spin. So I see a lot of players and they're playing, if I was going to do it, they're quite flat. So when we first start teaching tennis, we teach the continental grip, which is that really kind of stagger, you probably see an image now on the screen of that handshake or chopper grip we call it in England, where we're kind of chopping that ball a nice, firm, solid grip. However, as you get better and you kind of pass that 3-5 territory, the constant grip becomes quite an inefficient swing unless you have certain characteristics. Which the way the modern game's gone, semi-western, which I have, I have my grip, is a more common and more widely used grip. So, let me show you again. Turn the time. I'm going from the side here, I'll see you have a better, like, better example. If I imagine I'm wearing my watch here on my right wrist. I'm going to come through, contact, and from there on, I'm going to roll up and tell the time. What's really important when actually doing this is that you physically must imagine, or you can even wear an Apple Watch or a watch or any kind of watch, you're physically telling the time in front of you. Because you want to try and continue that kind of windshield wiper angle of your racket to get that ball to turn and roll over. So you see here that I'm going for my shot, I'm making contact, and I'm here from this point on in my leg position, and contact and roll and I'm turn the time. You see a lot of kind of the early 90s when the strings weren't quite the same. Like my racket now is an 0, I think it's 2010 09 racket. Modern strings, it's pretty similar to what we have nowadays. Frames haven't changed all that drastically. A little bit, not that drastically. The string has. So what happened late, early on in the early 2000s with the concept of grip, kind of eastern, it was really popular because the strings weren't there to develop. Now we are more popular, more, have more uh, high technology of string. The grips have changed and they evolved. So again, try this for me. And thank you for subscribing, by the way. So you want to see more of this kind of content, like below these small channels, like mine and Mike. Every like means the world. So thank you so much for those that do like this, this video. So again, so I'll show you one more time. Keep my, my semi-western grip. I'm going to have my ball come in front. I'm going to bounce speak because I'm making a part today. I want to see you finishing in that telling the time position. So I'm going to do a few more shots here from a different angle to show you what I mean by this telling the time motion. Probably the side on position. Same concept, the same mechanic. There, tell the time, slow mo. There, I'm just going to roll my wrist and tell the time in front of me. You don't want the swing to be going over the shoulder. That'll make you a bit more flatter. You have the racket, which is, I think has changed in the last few years, especially with Rafa, finishing on more of a here of a modernizing the, the modern forehand. I still want to see this. So when I was training in Spain, I had the pleasure of training in Spain for about a month. One thing the pro gave me an advance out there was try and imagine catching your racket in your left hand. This will help you with when you turn the time with your racket. So you can actually do the same thing. Like tell the time, catch that racket in that left shoulder. So I'll show you again here. Catch that racket in that left shoulder. Not only are you getting that kind of kinetic feeling of improvement, you're also getting that nice roll and a nice ending point which makes your swing more reliable and more consistent. So aside to do a bit more aside to do a bit more with this, I want to show you more kind of more repetitive magic balls being struck. So I want to see you guys finishing again high when screen wiper finish and that telling a time. You think you must see that watch in front of you. You can't see that watch and the angle bracket is either up to the ceiling or around. You physically must see the watch face. So we'll do a few more here. I want to see that bracket nice turning and roll. My high finish. Elbow finish. Elbow and that tell the time. Notice my, again, my elbow is one of the highest points of the swing. But I can still see all of that imaginary watch face. There and go. So a few more. And again, through. You might yourself do this. Just hand eat this feeling of hot blood. Do that kind of kinetic feedback off the shot. There. So, for those that are new to this concept, do me a favor. I want to hear from you. I want to meet you in the best way I can and build this community. So comment below. 
your thoughts on this. Try it, let me know how it goes, and we'll see what happens. And now I will comment on your comments, we'll talk, and we'll get to know you. So that is how you get a bit more spin on the forehand ring. Again, telling the time, a basic little aid that has made a huge difference to a number of my clients. And I'm so pleased that it's so simple. Anyone can do it at any level. So again, a little recap of what we've been doing. First thing, most importantly, if you want to wear a watch on your, rip, on your right wrist, it makes a big difference on visually seeing where you are right or wrong. So that nice telling a time and rolling through so I can physically see that clock. Second most important thing is imagine you are telling, you are not telling, but you are washing that window. Sometimes we kind of like karate kids in the catchphrase there, but that wiping that window with that windshield or windscreen, whatever you want to call it, like windscreen wiper blade. So when you come through, wipe the windshield, finish that tell the time position, and you're good. Last thing, which again is my little bit of Spanish cat plug there when I was back in Spain in Barcelona training. It was the catching the racket over your left side of your body, i.e. catching it in your left hand. You don't want to be swinging and going so long. You can still try and swing and stay long. I recommend this as a try, but try it. Sometimes you might feel like, oh my God, I've got loads more spin doing that. I might not, but you will get a lot of success quickly by doing this method, by catching your left side and getting that nice, repeatable motion. Remember, technique is just repeating the same thing again and again and again without any kind of issue. That's what we're doing. We're helping you repeat the same things again and again and again. So, thank you so much for watching this channel. My name is Williams. I am half of the performance center training staff. And I can't wait to hear you guys got that feedback. So, see you next time. Catch you soon. See ya. Bye.